Hello, so today I would like to make this video kind of as a follow-up to my previous video. Um, this is my ISA card that has a LCD screen on it. I'm using this uh, 20 by 4 line screen. I've got my ISA card here. Now, just got these four chips. We have our decoders here for our address for our IO address and then a 8255 this one is a net version it's the 7155 and if you can see I've mapped it to port uh, 0440 I think I just found a port that was kind of available that wouldn't conflict with uh, any standard boards um, we've got our potentiometer here this is a 1k potentiometer I've seen when I was picking this out, I seen guys are using like much uh, higher value, like 10K or 5K. But really, I think a 1K is ideal. Got our pin header here. It comes off the uh, 8255. Um, using port A for our data 0 through 7. And then our register select, read, write, and enable come off of port B. And uh, the VE is what's tied to the potentiometer. So the way this works is in mode 2, and you'll have to read the data sheet for mode 2, the uh, port A is bidirectional, which is what I need for communicating with this screen. So using port C as handshake lines, you're able to use port A bidirectionally. You'll have to read the data sheet for sure. But I use some of the pins off of port B that are not labeled. They're obviously not on the header. They just go from port B to port C. And they uh, enable the data either to go out of the chip or into the chip with the handshake lines. So the code is in my BIOS. I use uh, interrupt10. And uh, so you can download the, the V40 BIOS off my website and take a look at that. So, it's designed for this just to plug right in. Now, I was thinking I would need to put like a little uh, like a piece of foam or something, but it looks like it just rides neatly above it, which works out just great. So, show you this in the computer. I'm going to pause for a second. All right, so I've got it here in the uh, computer. Um, I'm going to boot it up here. Let's see if it boots up. You can see it's booting up uh, BIOS right now. So like I said in my other video, this is not intended to uh, be like the video card for my motherboard. It's more of a test board for prototyping projects. And, you know, one day I'll get an 8-bit VGA card in here and we'll uh, go with that. Uh, you can see it uh, works pretty good. It scrolls. And that's where that bi-directional communication comes in. Is the uh, characters are not saved into the memory of the motherboard at all. They're actually just in the memory on the LCD screen. So when you scroll, it actually reads the character out of the, the character RAM and then displays it on the next line up. So that's why I did the bi-directional control on that parallel card. So anyway, thanks for checking it out.